The flash of a green laser, the difference between life and death in Afghanistan. There are only a handful of these in the war zone. We are getting a rare look stateside. A military vehicle shines the laser, temporarily blinding anyone getting too close. Better this than firing guns and possibly injuring civilians, or not firing and getting killed by insurgents. Here at Aberdeen Test Center in Maryland, the Army is showing some of the latest weapons being sent to Afghanistan where it can be tough to figure out friend or foe. Major Michael Potratz is helping get the laser shipped to the front lines. You would use the green laser in to stop or warn civilians on the battlefield of your presence. And that saves lives because it gives us one additional thing in there to not have to go to deadly force. And how does that actually help carry out General McChrystal's counterinsurgency strategy? It helps it out by uh, giving him a system that, that crosses language and barriers that says, hey, we are here, we're Americans, don't come any near, or warning them, and it causes no harm. Among the machine guns and assault weapons, equipment designed with the counterinsurgency war in mind. This is called the Crows. It's all about protecting soldiers. Here, the gunner's turret is closed. Instead of this, an exposed gunner, there is this. The gunner sits below, protected by armor, looking at a screen to fire his gun. Colonel Doug Tamilio runs the program. If you're a turret gunner in Afghanistan, how much safer are you in this than in what we've seen for years now, which is an open turret? Yeah, I mean, he's in, if you're in an open turret, I mean, you're obviously exposed to the, to the enemy fire. And this is, is a, a significant advantage because he's now inside the protection of the vehicle. I mean, he, you can't shoot at him. But after we climbed down, okay. Tamilio explains it's already had results. We had an, an incident uh, about a week ago where one of our uh, crows got shot with an RPG. It did significant damage to the, to, the, to the crows. Can you imagine if that was a soldier in there? A soldier was inside the vehicle, and he's safe and walking around there. The Army tells us all of this is part of an effort to find new ways to protect soldiers on the battlefield, especially in Afghanistan, where the number of roadside bombs is at an all-time high. Barbara Starr, CNN, Aberdeen Test Center.